Hello kids, welcome to Tan Learn. Today we will do chapter 6 of science changes around us. In this chapter we will read about the various changes taking place around us in our day to day life. We will categorize them and know about them in detail. So the changes around us can be of various types like reversible and irreversible changes, physical and chemical changes, expansion and contraction of materials. So what are reversible and irreversible changes? Changes that occur around us can be broadly categorized as reversible and irreversible depending on whether they can be reversed or not or whether the change can be reversed or not. For example, we are taking a dough, roll it into a chapati and then cook the chapati. Then in this whole process, what is reversible change and what is the irreversible change? The reversible change is that taking a piece of dough, making a ball out of it and rolling it into a chapati. And then we can again make a ball of dough or add it back to the dough out of the rolled chapati. So this is a reversible change. But when the rolled chapati is cooked, then we cannot again get dough out of that cooked chapati. So this is an irreversible change. So what we can say that changes that can be reversed are called reversible changes. For example, molten ice cream can be changed back into solid form. Water can be changed into ice on freezing and on heating we can get back water. When water is heated for some time it starts boiling and steam escapes from the container and, and when that steam is cooled down we get back water. So the changes that can be reversed that that is we can get the original product back is the reversible change. So these are some of the examples that water on freezing or cooling becomes ice and ice on heating or melting again becomes water. Similarly, a chocolate can be heated, it gets melted and then when it is cooled, it, we again get the chocolate in the solid form. Similarly, we can say about ice cream, when the milk or uh, flavored milk is frozen, we get ice cream and then when it is again heated, we again get the flavored milk. So, there are some changes where we get back the same product after following some processes. These are the reversible changes. That is, the result can be reversed in a reversible change. So, what is irreversible changes? Irreversible changes are those where changes cannot be reversed. For example, ripening of fruit. It is an irreversible change because we cannot get back the raw fruit from the ripened one. Blooming of flowers. Milk gets spoiled if not refrigerated, curdling of milk, burning of paper, cooking of food. All these are examples of irreversible changes. From egg, when it is cooked, we get omelette. But the omelette can not be changed again into the egg. So this is a irreversible change. Like from a dough, if we bake it, we get a bread. But the bread cannot be changed into the dough again. Similarly, when milk is turned into curd, we cannot get back milk again from the curd. So this is also an irreversible changes. So in irreversible change, we don't get the original product again, whatever process we follow. Now we will discuss about physical and chemical changes. Chemical change. A chemical change forms a new product that is uh, the property or properties of the product is totally new that does not resembles with the original product that is a chemical change in a physical change matter change form shape or size but not the chemical identity see like uh, uh, in case of ice cream it can be melted and again frozen tearing of paper boiling of water chopping of wood or vegetables so the product after the change have the same properties in physical change as it has before just shape or size is changed or its form is changed so physical change can be described as changes in which no new substances are formed are called physical changes these changes are not these changes does not result in production of new substance Physical change is generally observed during melting, freezing, condensation, breaking, crushing, cutting and mending. Examples of physical change are powdering of sugar, slicing of fruit, shedding and grating of vegetables and making ornaments or jewelry out of gold. 
all these are physical changes as original substance remains the same but in new form and some reversible and some irreversible changes like uh, like physical changes like melting of ghee is reversible and so also physical change there is only one change in the state from solid to liquid form breaking of glass is irreversible and also changes as glass cannot be reconstructed into its original form uh, some are reversible changes in case of melting of uh, ice into water and again freezing of water into ice but uh, if we tear a paper we cannot get a paper uh, as a whole again so some can be reversible some cannot be reversible but the physical state of the substance remains same so some of the examples of physical change are melting of ice melting of ice cream tearing of paper cutting of wood etc now what are chemical changes changes in which new substances are formed are called chemical changes in chemical changes the new substance formed are very different from the original and they have entirely different properties for example chemical changes are burning of lpg natural gas coal candle wax wood cooking of food rusting of iron and respiration chemical changes are always irreversible in nature and these are permanent changes for example curdling of milk results in formation of a new substance some of the other examples are burning of wood like after burning a wood we get the final product as as ash and that cannot be again changed into wood rusting of iron we cannot get back it into its original form ripening of fruits like once a fruit is ripened we cannot get back the raw fruit same is in the case of blooming of flower once the flower is full bloom from the bud it cannot again we cannot get the bud so these are some example of chemical changes now we will talk about expansion and contraction expansion and contraction of material some materials expand on weight some contracts on cooling heating makes the particles expand and becomes loose cooling makes the particle contract and becomes tight the amount of expansion differs in solid liquid and gases gases expands the most whereas solid expands the least expansion in solids railway tracks consist of two parallel metal rails joined together small gaps called expansion gaps are deliberately left between these rails as there is an expansion of rails in hot weather so these gaps are left so that the tra track does not get damaged when the metal expands in the hot weather and accidents can be avoided expansion in liquid mercury expands on heating take a glass of water in a container and heat now dip the thermometer in hot water mercury level rises due to the expansion of mercury therefore we use mercury thermometers for uh, checking temperatures whenever you are sick so it is an application of this property that liquids expand on heating now expansion in gases if you keep an inflated balloon in sun for some time it will grow in size as the air inside it expands on heating cooling does the opposite of heating cooling causes materials contract solids contract the least whereas gases contract the most common examples of contraction are contraction in solid if we hold a very hot glass tumbler under water it cracks this is because the outer surface of glass which comes in direct contact with cold water and contracts more as compared to the inner surface in liquids we observe that mercury expands on heating can you say that it will happen in thermometer if it is allowed to cool down the mercury level will go down and this is because of contraction the contraction in gases if an inflated balloon is tied at the mouth and of the bottle and the bottle is placed in cold water what will happen the balloon will shrink in size and air inside the balloon contracts on cooling now we will read about some of the applications of expansion and contraction expansion by 
heating can be caused in several everyday activities jammed metal tin lid of the jam jar can be opened by heating jar is inverted and only the lid is dipped in the hot water after some times it can be opened easily as the lid gets slightly expanded for this uh, this trick is used many times by your mother in kitchen in the fact that the metal expands on heating is used in thermometers in many thermometers mercury is used in the bulb of the thermometer comes in contact with the hot object mercury expands and its level rises in the glass tube indicates the temperature why the electric lines never hang tightly between the poles wires in the uh, wires in the outside environment are subjected to extreme weather conditions ranging from acute hot to cold temperatures the tight wires on contraction in winters can't snap so this is the reason why wires are a bit loose so there are some examples in expansion in solid that can be seen electric wires sag in the summer and get tight in the winters expansion joints in railway tracks are shown expansion joints are given in bridges as well so this was all about the chapter see you soon with next video till then bye bye take care stay safe